And this letter is very, very powerful. Would you mind just reading a, a paragraph from that, both of you? Would that be OK? Go first, I've got the yeah, start. Yeah, of course. Um, so, dear students of Marjorie Stoneham Douglas School, on the most poignant day of the year for us, we want to reach out and offer our deepest and most heartfelt sympathies to you, to your teachers and to the families and friends of those who died at your school on the 14th of February. It won't be easy, but continue to remind everyone of exactly what happened at your school and the devastation caused by just one person with one legally owned gun. Never let anyone forget. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Not to forget. And I mean, today, I know it's hard for both of you. It's very, very hard for anybody that was involved in, in Dunblane. And what would you like to achieve by, by reaching out to people over there? To reassure them that there's hope and that the young people that are standing up and fighting for change is the right thing to do, because change will only happen like that way. That they all decide that they don't want to be victims anymore and they want to be able to go to school safely. And I think that's the right message, really. No, absolutely. And only you would concur with that, Jack. Absolutely. It's just all about a message of hope. That's the, what we want to say. You know, this day is really difficult for everyone from Dunblane and it is a day of remembrance. The thing about in the United States, nothing is going to change politically right now. I mean, we've seen Donald Trump even rolling back now because um, he, he was going to put some sort of restrictions on people, age restrictions on if you were 20, you had to be 21 in order to get a rifle. You have to be 21 in America to get a beer, but you can buy a weapon. It's, it's insane. Ridiculous. It's insane. So it is only going to come from young people like yourselves, your counterparts over there. That's the only way things are going to change, isn't it? Yeah. It didn't all come um, straight away for Dunboy. So for the families of Dunblane, it took a year for even that first small step. So for it was high caliber guns that were handguns that were banned first. And it took another full year after that. So for the second anniversary of Dunblane before all handguns were banned. So it's not going to happen straight away. It's not going to be immediate, this change. Sure. And they're going to have these setbacks where there'll be promises and those promises will be broken. Mm -hmm. But it's all about just keeping that fight up.